wrenches up his run. It'll be his fourth start at Daytona. In tonight's uh, race, we welcome you back to Daytona International Speedway, the world center of racing, and no one knows that better than Eric Jones, a young man who dreamed about racing at Suckhar's highest levels for a long time from his home in Michigan, and he has made it there now in the Monster Energy Series and also running quite a few races for Joe Gibbs Racing in this Xfinity Series. I certainly think it's for young drivers that, that don't have a ton of experience in this type of racing because it is so different to be able to get that, that opportunity uh, to see what the drafting's like because even though the cars are, are different in some respects, the, the, the drafting, the techniques, the things that you learn uh, do carry over from uh, tonight's uh, Xfinity race into the Cup race tomorrow night. It's a voice of Matt Lucas on the other end of that radio transmission asking for immediately for a water temperature, DJ. They want to know what they're dealing with. Yes, exactly. Because he's going to go to round two. Well, he hopes he's going to go to round two. Tenth right now. Yes, yeah, going to be close to the weather that do. Mm -hmm. His teammate, Matt Tiff, on the track right now. We've told his story many times. We'll document it again another time tonight in Countdown to Green. This race last year, he was not in the race car he was supposed to be in. He was recovering from emergency brain surgery. It was discovered while he was taking care of a back issue. The doctor said, we need to get you back in here and look at things a little bit further. And he made a miraculous recovery to come back and race later in the year. That he did. And miraculous is, is a great word because that, he is a phenomenal young man. Now very much about the cause of uh, getting young people and old people alike to go check and get checked and make sure you interface with your physicians and find out what's going on so you can take care of issues. Tiff, fourth in the 19 car. That's a big disparity between him and Jones. Yeah, that's, that's, that is a solid run. He's, he's got some speed in that car. Yeah, just a, you know, he's fourth, a, a tenth off of what the, the fast time is. This, this has become so much like what we used to see short track yes. racing, still do see short track racing, of just how close it is. Our top 11 uh, are within less than three tenths of a second of each other. On board with Joey Logano. Our man Otto Bolden not in the car with him right now, but doing a lot of hanging out with Joey this weekend. Getting to know NASCAR. New to our broadcast team. Not new to fast cars, he's a fan, but new to NASCAR and taking our fans there every chance he gets. The former Olympic sprinter. A fast learner in this world. Joey shuts it down, and it will be third quick. Good luck. So the Team Penske driver coasts around back to the garage area. We'll cool it down for round two. More qualifiers trying to bump their way in. 